That, that's why things, things ashia, you know, things are important. Possessions are important. That's why property is, is one of the essential imp, imp reasons why we were given sharia is to protect property because things are important, because things have meaning. The Prophet named all of his things. He didn't have many things. But the things that he had, he named them. He gave them names because they had meaning. And that's what the world is. It's meaning. It's meaning everywhere. The whole thing is meaning. It's ma'na. إِنَّمَا الْكَوْنُ مَعَانٍ قَائِمَةٌ بِالصُّوَرْ كُلُّ مَنْ يُدْرِكُ هَذَا كَانَ مَنْ أَهْلَ الْعِبَرْ Like the poet said, this whole cosmos is meanings set up in images. And whoever understands that is from the people of discernment, the people of ibr, the people of fa'tabiru ya ulil abasar. Think deeply, give this ibra, give this, and then the ibra leads to abra. That's where the tears come. You know, they come from perception of meaning. You know, to really know what something means. It's just, it's an amazing thing to know what something means. You know, it's, it's a great gift that God gave to human beings. Allama Adam al Asma, he taught man, he taught Adam the names, the ability to create meaning, to give meaning. To things because the meaning is a transference it's it's a movement from something to another thing so a name is a great meaning if I say tree and suddenly in your mind an image of a tree comes that's meaning that's that is meaning and that's why the more that you know about the Prophet the more powerful those meanings penetrate your heart when you understand his import, what he means, the ma'na, the meaning of the Prophet, what he means, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet said, لا يؤمن أحدكم He said, من حسن إسلام المرء تركه ما لا يعنيه from the beautiful Islam of a person is to leave what has no meaning for him. What has no meaning for him. Ma la yanihi. It doesn't have ma'na for him. Like gossip. What, what does that mean? If you uh, know about so and so and such and such getting a divorce, how does that affect you? What's the meaning for you? So meaning is, that's what this whole thing is about. And that's what, that's what the gift of this religion is. It, it gives meaning. That people, you know, the, the non-Muslim, uh, like some of the atheist people, not Christians, because Christians believe in meaning also. But some of the atheists, they say, oh, religion is just a way for people to find meaning. Exactly. We totally agree with you. Really, we agree with you. Because they say this is all meaningless. But we don't believe that. Because we know and experience and taste meaning. And we know that it's real. It's real. All this other stuff is not real. But meaning is real. That is what's real about the world. And the greatest meaning, the highest ma'na in the world is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.